Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Walking Dead, A New Frontier. I'm super excited to begin this series. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe, and let's get into The Walking Dead. Episode 1, Ties That Bind, Part 1. When Javier and his family accidentally cross paths with a rival group, a simple misunderstanding quickly spirals out of control. Okay, so let's begin episode 1. The game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. I love games like that. Okay, here we go. Hey. It's time. Get over here. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll start packing up. Now, Javi, you need to hurry. Look, I'm not giving you shit, okay? I'm just... You weren't here when Dad was sick, okay? I get it, but... You need to fucking be here when he goes. I know. Alright, I'm just on my way. <laughs> All right. Got some beer there. David, it's David. Hey, hey, David. I had to leave my car. It's traffic. Just it's backed up for miles. He's dead. He missed it. No. No, I, I, I tried. You're a piece of shit. You know that? One time. Just the one goddamn time that you needed to be here. I tried, I tried. to get here. Please, I tried. Oh, you tried. You fucking tried? Oh, shit. You got wrecked there, buddy. Everyone's here. They've been here for days. And where the fuck were you? We're there. All around him. People who love him all around him. And he's scared. I'm seeing the panic in his eyes and he's searching the room. Donde esta Javier? Donde esta mi hijo? I'm there, right beside him, holding his hand. Like a good son. And he doesn't even see me. He doesn't even see me because he's looking for you. A little bit of jealousy, you I see. You think there's a million places we'd rather be? You don't think we all had to make sacrifices? I'm sorry. Okay? David, Jesus. I... Sorry isn't bringing him back. Punch him again. Oh, fuck. No, don't punch him again. Uncle Javi? Why, why are you fighting? I can hear you from inside. What's uh, going on? We were just, uh, talking, Gabriel. We were, right. We were just talking. Hey, your uncle and I are just having a little chat. Gabe will inside, remember Gabe. that. We'll be in in a minute. Go on. It's okay. Inside. Uh, Alright, take his hand. Ta we'll forgive him for smacking us in the face. I should call someone, pick up the body. Yeah. I love you, little brother. You know that, right? We could have probably made it a much stronger fight. Everything going on. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, you got a pretty funny way of showing it. <laughs> Passive aggressiveness. You think I was jealous of you? Yeah. No, I, I don't think anything. Well, I was. For a long time. See? You've lost more than I'll ever have. But maybe something good can come out of all this. Because we need you here. Well, at least he admits it. It's time to grow up. You can't run from this. Not anymore. She's not going to say anything. It's time to take some responsibility. Javi. Kate. I'm so sorry, Javi. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Let's go inside. Your mom needs you. What happened? 
<laughs> got punched in the face. Come on. I love the decision making that goes on in this game. Telltale games are all like that, so. But this is the first one that I'm playing. It's very exciting. Mama. Where were you? Everyone's just hitting him. I tried. I tried. I'm so sorry. He's gone, mijo. He's gone. <laughs> He's in a better place, Mama. And it begins. No puedo conectarme. Dicen que no hay servicio. It's like a movie. It's like being part of a movie. <laughs> this is awesome. You thirsty, baby? You want some juice? Grandpa's cup was empty. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. People's awake. Oh, shit. Oh, damn, ladies and gentlemen. That was the hook. Uh-oh, <laughs> she is 100% about to be, uh, snacked. Uh-oh. <laughs> Get the bat! Get the bat! Rafa, how is this possible? He's dead. 100% he's dead. Okay. Oh, jeez. He's just a little confused. <laughs> Punch him. I'm sorry, Papa. I was gonna say, why aren't they punching him? <laughs> we need to go. We need to get her to the hospital. Well, let me look at it. Let me look at it. Gabriel, where's your sister? <laughs> keys! Where the fuck are the keys? Take Dad's car. The keys are on the dash. Mama, get the kids. Meet at the hospital. Don't take the highway. It's blocked. Shit's intense. Shit's getting intense, ladies and gentlemen. I'll bring the van around. Where's Mari? I don't know. Mija. Mariana, from the stars. Mariana, we have to go. Yaya's hurt. Come on, honey, we have to go. No, no, no! She was bit too. No, I, I don't know. No! Oh, he was bit. Everyone's getting bit. <laughs> Is he turning? Well, that was a really interesting uh, introduction. 
Definitely got me hooked on that one. <laughs> oh, okay. Present day. So now I guess they've adapted to the zombie hordes. They're all part Tell of life. Reaches the campfire. Man, I don't think I've seen this many. It's definitely growing. Yeah, not a great. I sign. love the fact that they give you a little meter there. Like, like, hur hurry up, make a Damn. decision. I left my water bottle. Her just got there. Just under four hours. Come on. We should keep moving while the kids are asleep. Yeah. <laughs> the kids are asleep. Huh. Children, it's okay. Just sleep. It's a zombie apocalypse. No need to worry. Oh, a hitchhiker. It looks like the herd is speeding up a little. I thought it was drifting southwest, but I'm not sure anymore. Every time I think we should just bed down somewhere and wait for it to pass, I can't shake the thought of us getting caught in the middle of it. It just keeps coming. It's slow, but that almost makes it worse. It makes it feel like we're in control. We'll keep we moving. Keep moving. It worked for us so far. As long as we stay supplied, we're fine. Yeah, maybe you're right. The van isn't so bad. We'll figure it out. We always do. There's different like hey, levels of aggression you can have. Smoke. I can't believe you found weed. <laughs> Are you kidding? People were probably growing this before they realized they needed food. <laughs> want me to roll you it? Want me to do that? The last joint you rolled looked like a kazoo. You're driving. And I've come a long way Ooh, since Ooh, it's then. perfect. <laughs> uh, it was like three days ago. <laughs> Relax. Mariana's got headphones on and Gabe is drooling. I think we're in the clear. I'm just gonna smoke a J in the car. Get some of that relaxation vibes, you, you know? Want some? Yeah, take a hit. Yeah. Put the pressure off. Okay, sure. <clears throat> of course, not good to drive while high. We don't do that. Awesome example. <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> oh, when I found out David had kids, I told him I am not changing who I am around them. <laughs> and when he proposed, I reminded him that I'm not exactly stepmother material. <laughs> Case in point. He was reassuring, but yeah, I could tell he was worried about it. I knew he'd try to get me to change. <laughs> or at least he'd hope that being around the kids more would change me, you know? <laughs> I suppose it did. Do you miss him? I think about that a lot. So are they dating now? Honestly, I'm not sure. I used to talk shit about all those mothers who'd go on about raising their kids being the hardest Wait, thing what? in the world. Gabe's making me start to think they had a point. <laughs> His mood swings are just... Uh, I don't know. Some days I just want to leave him by the side of the road. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Jesus. Obviously. Uh. Gabe's been... emotional lately. I'm sure he's just, you know, going through a phase. Going through that emotional. teenage angst. <laughs> Right. That's cute. Look, I love these kids. But I could do without Gabe reminding me I'm not his mother whenever he's pissed. He's a teenager. Puberty. Hormones. Oh yeah. The second you start getting boners, the whole world starts to get dark. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? It sounds delightful compared to dealing with... Bloody underwear. <laughs> Christ. I need to get laid. Ooh. Is that a pass? <laughs> His face. <laughs> I realized that was an awkward transition. Sorry about that. Uh come on, Kate. 
You know we can't do that. I'm gonna go with the safer option. I said I meant with you. Oh. <sighs> Snapped back. Ugh. What's that smell? Skunk, shut your mouth. That's gross. <laughs> we're we're smoking weed. Well, okay, we hit a skunk. Fine. Hey, Mariana, I I think we, we uh, must have hit a skunk or something back there. <laughs> I already know you guys do drugs. Uh, That's oh shit. A pretty severe way of phrasing it, Mariana. Don't tell Gabe. He's the one who told me. Oh, oh my god. You're even smoking in the car now? All right. Everyone roll the windows down before you all get contact high. <laughs> We're about to make a supply stop. The kids probably smoke the same weed too, you know that. Achievement unlocked, family road trip. Getting a little bit of those munchies, perhaps. That's what he meant by supply stop. Gotta pick up some chips, some brownies. <laughs> oh shit, based on the front of that van, it definitely looks like they hit a skunk. Quite a large skunk, or maybe like 17 skunks. Praying for our safety, Mari? I'm praying I find a candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do we actually need? Uh, a candy bar. Need, Mariana. Not want. Really need a candy bar. You heard the crowd. Please, God, let there be candy bars. Amen. All right. Well, let's start with some gas and move up from there. Forget the gas. Just get the candy bar. Oh, geez. Whoa. That's an interesting way to carry a crowbar. Oh. <laughs> Boom. Wrecked. Boom. Finish him. Or finished. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Okay, that's cool. Have fun. Jesus. It never ends with him. I hate when they fight like that. I really hate it. It's like all Gabe wants to do is argue. Doesn't matter what it's about. Hey, I know that's what families do. They fight, they make up, and they fight all over again. At least you have your headphones. <laughs> yeah, but the batteries have been dead for a couple of weeks. I mostly wear them to fool you guys. Well, uh... It's easier to stay out of it that way. <laughs> you... You sneaky little... <laughs> That's smart. That's pretty smart. Be nice to find some dinner. I feel like later on she'll just be sneaking around you everything. Never know. These past four years, people have been hoarding all kinds of shit in all kinds of places. Oh, and Mari? If there's any trouble, you can find one of these cars. Yeah? Lock yourself in and don't come out. Not even once it's quiet. And wait as long as you can. Okay. Well, she is sneaky, so... Good girl. Okay. We can look at that. We can talk to... Is that Gabe over there? Look and talk to... All right, well, let's take a look at this. It's a broken window. Most of the dashboard is torn out. Seats are gone. Ah, this thing's dead. All right, well, what do we have here? Polka mattress. Okay, now I'm sorry I did that. Sorry, man. Just just thought that you might want to do that. Poking mattresses is fun. 
Okay, let's go over to... Oh, we can siphon some gas. That's good. We're gonna need a lot of gas for our adventures. Come to Papa. Gabe's over there with his teenage angst. Barely anything. I'll need to find more. Let's see if we can get some information out of Gabe. Seems a little down. What's going on in there, buddy? I'm in a bad mood, okay? I want it to go away, but he won't. Interesting. I just wish we weren't always on the road. I like being with other people. Just, we're in that car so damn long. We have each other. The AC hasn't worked in ages, and it, it ain't my last damn tape. But we still got each other. It's better than nothing, right? I don't know. Maybe just leave me alone. Okay. But if you want to talk later, I'm around. All right. Be that way. We're going to go siphon some more gasoline while you sit your ass there. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I think I saw something over here, didn't I? We can look at these tires. Ugh, I don't think these tires would fit the van. I was hoping that they would. Let's climb up here. And then hopefully we can see... Maybe there are more resources around in the area. Looks like there's more to see up here. Any luck? Some. But not enough. Gabe? Oh, shit. Hey, Gabe. Let's go take a look over there. Gabe, stay close to Javi. Got it? Oh, all right. All right. I should probably go check on the, uh, Mariana. <laughs> I mean, she's just walking around a junk shard. A junk shard. A junk yard by herself. Look, there's one they never took to pieces. Oh. Good catch. All right, so let's pop open this gas tank. Hopefully we can get, gather up some more uh, gas. Shit. It's locked. All right, pry it open. All right, here goes nothing. Done. Fuck yeah. Get all that fuel. Look at that. This is gonna take a while. Alright, so let's see what we can get inside of the ambulance. Maybe some medical supplies for if there are any issues down the road. Locked. Oh well. At least it had some gas. You can break open the window. <laughs> Can't you? I mean, oh, what's over here? Nothing. Okay. Well, the gasoline there is emptying out. Shit. Oh, shit. Grab the crowbar. Ooh. Damn. Oh, shit. Hmm. Looks like it came from in there. Let's go explore that area. Gabe. Stay close. We're gonna go kill some Zambers. <laughs> oh. Is there anything we can explore before going in there? No? Okay. look at okay let's look in we want to make sure there are no zombies before popping ourselves in there might be able to get in through the hatch can we get in through the door 
Nope, the door is locked. Locked. Okay. How can we get in through the hatch? Oh, shit. Oh, we can pry it open. I'm not gonna be able to pry this open. Never mind. Damn it. <laughs> okay. So let's go back. Let's try and see if we can find a way to get into into that hatch. Oh, this is probably it. All right, Gabe, get your ass in there. <laughs> All right, or not, he can just stay there. Uh, where was, oh, here it is. Looks like they're quite, a, we should just stay here. Gabe, come check this out. Ditch the van, we should just chill in this junkyard. Look at this, a five-star motel, ladies and gentlemen. The cleanest place. Oh, no muertos, at least. Just be careful. Oh, man, we've got lots of stuff in here. Okay, so, talk to Gabe, or we can check out... Let's see what's on the table. Or no, that's the bed. All right. Oh, we got it covered here. So I think it only shows us certain areas once they are, uh, once we're close enough to them. Yeah, grab the batteries. We got some batteries for, uh, what's her face? Mariana. She should be happy. And, uh, let's go check out what's over here. Are you kidding me? Lucky for you, they put enough preservatives in this stuff to last for centuries. There you go. Oh, there's enough food in here to keep us going for a long time. Oh, jeez, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, check it out. This is actual honest-to-God pudding. Seriously? And it's not just food. There's a mattress. There's blankets. Someone else's mattress someone else's blankets we need to just take our gas and get on the road uh i think it's cozy well you gotta admit it's kind of cozy in here the van is cozy this is creepy come on one night we bunk down eat a real meal it would be nice not to sleep in the van for a change uh, yeah i'm telling you please the herd is coming if it's not here already we should go and get ahead of it. She's got a good Before point. It's too late. The fence is reinforced. We'll be fine. We found this. Why can't we just enjoy it? Javi, can we? We could stretch out, sleep well for once. <laughs> Come on, you know it's not a big deal. They're trying to convince me. We've got guns. We can protect ourselves. All right, fine. The kids are right. We can stay the night. We deserve a little break from the van. Yes. Kids, go wild. Just stay indoors and keep your ears open. <laughs> Just in case. Cool. You can have your own. Oh, she's pissed. Just want a little comfort. Um, I'm gonna save them for later. We've spoiled these kids enough with the, uh, the little place that we're staying at. We might need the batteries for later I don't know on. How I always end up being the mean stepmom, and you get to be the cool uncle. We should be able to switch roles now and then. Keep the kids off balance. Look, it's just a nice break. We get to spend the night with four walls instead of four wheels. It's true. And I think we deserve that. Whatever. It's fine. Grab some gas. We're out of here in a few hours. Hey. Uh, wait, but you... Is that a candy bar? Aw, oh, yeah. You're the cool one, remember? She'd expect it from you. <laughs> Not if I eat it first. <laughs> oh. Uh. What the fuck do you think you're doing with our gas? Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Go on, speak up! I'm 
sorry. I'm gonna try to reason with these guys. It's just a can. We needed it really we? bad. I fucking knew it. There's more than just you out here. You ain't the loner type. I can tell. I know you got people. Look, don't worry about them. They took off and then they're not coming back. Just up and left you, huh? <laughs> Fan out and look for the others. Oh, shit. Lonnie, you're with me. We got some problems, ladies and gentlemen. We got some serious problems. Hey! You assholes in there! I got your boy! You don't want him getting shot, you best come out there careful with your hands up! Go on, you first. You get ambushed by your own people, that shit's gonna make my day. They went through the hatch. Okay, real slowly. Can I can I punch him in the face? Kick him in the dick? Fuck around with me, boy. All right, fine. Hopefully, oh, they went through the hatch. Please be smart. Smart people. <laughs> Take the gun. Pull some jujitsu. Kick them in the face. Looks like you and your friends had a real feast, huh? You can't just take what you like. I don't roll over like that. I ate all those. Yeah, me. You? By yourself? <laughs> now, yeah, what can I say? I fucking love pudding. You got a real smart mouth. <laughs> you fucking watch what you say. Look, I, I, I get it, all right? You're starving. Who the fuck is it? At the end of your rope, thought you hit pay dirt. Honest mistake. But I got this sneaky fucking feeling. <clears throat> oh, shit. That you're full of shit. I ain't gonna let it be like the last time some assholes rolled on us. I'm gonna kick his ass. Keep an eye on this dickhead. I'm gonna grab some cuffs. You got it. All right, here's our chance. Just chill, okay? No need to make this any harder. Look, your buddy's not thinking straight. So let's talk, okay? You and me, we, we can get this sorted out. No, it's his call. Look, man, this doesn't have to go. The fuck was that noise? A raccoon. What you got hiding under there, boy? A raccoon. Kick him. If you know something, you better spill it. Oh, here we go. You don't want me finding out for myself. Hey, if you're so curious, open it and find open out. Open it and take the crowbar. Oh, really? Go ahead. Do it. Oh, fuck it. There we go. Oh, oh, that's what I'm talking about. I, I did it. I moved the, I moved the mouse. Why did it do that? Look, man, this doesn't have to go. Is it? Oh, maybe it's the the, the keyboard keys, not the mouse. I swiped at the what mouse. You under there, boy? Okay. If you know something, you better spill it. You don't want me finding out for myself. Hey, if you're so curious, open it and find out. Oh, really? Go ahead. Do it. Oh, fuck it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna... I think it's the arrow keys. Oh, yeah, it's arrow keys. Guys, get the fuck in here! Ah, oh, take it! Hit him! Boom, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, why would you drop the gun? Damn it. You have to pay for what you done here. Wait, 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 don't you? Oh my god. Why did he drop the gun? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I guess he panicked or something. Maybe we can become friends with them. <laughs> they seem like a, new, a real nice crowd. <gasps> Oh shit. Hey, my family, where are they? 
What did you do with my family? Answer me! Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back then. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. There's gotta be a way we can work all this out. You know, make a deal or something. It ain't my call, all right? You best be glad it ain't. Please, just stop, all right? You don't want me riled up, kid. What if we rile him up? Not another word, or God help me, I'll put you to sleep myself. We still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the hell? Oh, shit. Stop. Stop. Oh, shit. There you go. That's what happens. Come on. Hey. Uh Well, he was going to do it. We can't have them can't have them running around. They might find us again. Oh shit. <sighs> That's good. Just keep looking forward. What? Please. I just... I need help. Not what it looks like to me. Looks like you can handle yourself just fine. That's not what I meant. Who's that? Okay. Now don't do anything stupid. Cause I'll shoot a lot quicker than you did. Oh. You're a kid. Not just a kid. She's a warrior. Wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. You stopped it, all right. Tree fell slower than I thought it would. <laughs> Put your hands up and close your eyes. She means business. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me. This is payment for saving you. Hey, that's for my niece. She loves chocolate more than anything. I promised it to her. Please. Now oh, maybe she's Keep not so bad. Closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just my family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked, and I don't. I just need to know where I am. Maybe she's a lone wolf. We we're driving down the 522, and, and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. No. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard if you let me have your van. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. Uh, okay, fine. Yeah, absolutely. You got a deal. Good. Let's go. Maybe afterward, we can, like, team up or something. I don't know. <laughs> is this really necessary? I don't know you. I don't trust you, and I'm not taking any chances. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Look, I get it. I don't blame you. You're being cautious. Glad we understand each other. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. <laughs> thanks for not no. shooting me. Thanks for not killing me, Clementine. Don't thank me yet. <laughs> She's got a smart mouth. In her charge.
Oh, damn. Clementine's got this. Come on, Clementine. Oh. Saving ammo. Smart girl. You get it done. Look, you don't want to talk? Fine. But how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For all I'd know, you'd turn around and use it on me. You give me a weapon, we can protect each other. I give you a weapon, I can't take my eyes off you. At least this way I know what I'm up against. And she has a point. <laughs> Where oh. The herd caught up with us. Wow, she's gonna have to give me the gun. Give Javi the gun. Muertos. What do you call them? Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? <laughs> Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Usually, it's just me on my own. Apology accepted. I wasn't apologizing. Well, I'll accept it anyway. <laughs> So, who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive, surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just keeping everyone together like that. We help each other. Well, I didn't do it alone. My, uh, my, uh, Kate. Oh, no, see, he does have feelings for her. Most of the work, actually. Sounds nice. Having a partner? It is. How about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me too. She's a trooper. What to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. Oh, damn. Shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. Uh. Can you do that? Please? All right, lead the way. Fine. Whatever you say. Thank you. The family's safe in the trailer. Don't make me regret this. Come on. Oh, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that is where I'm going to end this episode. I'm super excited to see if Javier is going to be able to get back to the trailer and save his family. Uh, Clementine seems to trust us a little bit more. Um, but honestly, I love the fact that we, any decision that we make through those little dialogue pieces affect the story completely. I'll be doing a series on this, so you want to subscribe so you don't miss the story. You have to also remember, everyone plays it differently, so the story outcomes are different for everyone. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below. I will talk to you later.